So, Jeff Gold, um, not to suggest that you've had a chance to look at their particular uh, parenting plan when it came to this custodial agreement, usually they're pretty darn careful about the T's being crossed and the I's being dotted regarding time that you're with those children, whether the other parent is allowed to sign off on the caregivers, and three, first right of refusal if you're gone for more than, say, I don't know, 24, 36, 48 hours, that custody reverts back to the non-custodial parent. Could you imagine any circumstance in which a guy like Usher, who's got more money than God and great lawyers, wouldn't have done a, a, a very uh, particularly uh, you know, specific job on the parenting plan to make sure there's no loopholes. Yeah, I could imagine him being sloppy about it, as many uh, parents are. But look, look what we have here swirling around. We have tragedy. Uh, you know, the, the injury of his son. Remember that custody was only given to him one month after uh, the 11-year-old of Tamika had died in a boating accident. We have acrimony. This is a mom who didn't get custody of her kids. She's been fuming, no doubt, for uh, a year now. And then she posts this picture on the Internet right after the, the uh, injury of sort of an eerie picture of her and her son. Uh, why was that done? And then finally, you know, we have the legal end of it where now they're in court dramatically right after the incident. And he's a celebrity. So it's all over the place. So it's anything but a run-of-the-mill case. And we should mention that, you know, that other child uh, who died was not in the care of, of Usher at the time that that terrible tragedy happened. It was a, a water sports um, uh, accident in, in which he died. 